and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as a Four Kids at 147, and storage. Storage, storage, storage. One of my favourite things, um, but also something that can be confusing for people. Um, everybody does have a preference on the type of storage that they use um, for their diamond paintings. Both, you know, ones that they're working on, also ones that they haven't yet started, or maybe what to do with the diamonds for the ones that they've finished. So, I'm going to discuss all things storage today. Um, and I've started with a visual of lots of different types of storage for when you're doing a diamond painting. I am going to go through each of them briefly. Um, I do have some videos that may have more content on certain ones. I'll try and point them out when I can. Um, I do also have a video on what I call tools needs versus wants. So it covers a lot of tools. It was done a couple of years ago, but it is still one of my most popular videos um, I may look to redoing it but at the moment all the information is still pretty much the same so it's not high on my list but it is still a very informative video for many people um, so in the, the description below there will be details of my website which is 4kids at 147.com if you go on there, there is quick links to many of my informative videos. So there is a section on storage, there is a section on extra diamond storage, which we'll get to in a moment. There is also comparisons um, on some different types of storage. Um, and there is the needs versus wants video. I think it's in the beginners section and it's also in with tools. So there's lots of different videos there for you to help navigate and get the key points that may answer some of your questions. But today I'm going to cover storage. So I'm going to move some of these out the way just because that is a little bit crazy, the amount. Now, many people, when they get a diamond painting, of course, that diamond painting, will come with their canvas and with their diamonds. Quite often it will come rolled up um, and then you may flatten it out. Now, I'm just gonna show you for this sort of the way I store my diamonds, um, which will give you a couple of different ways that you can store them, but you need to work on what suits you and your space. Um, so, any diamond paintings that are sort of roughly about 30 by 40 or smaller. So that's a 30 by 40 portrait, that's one horizontal, that's a 25 by 20. I like to put them on these trouser hangers. Um, so I picked up a two pack from the range. You can clip a few to them. I have had more stuck to one hanger. And I have a few of these hung up in my craft room that's what works for me. Um, you may have some wardrobe space to hang them, something like that that suits you. Bigger ones, if you want to keep them flat, you could of course still maybe hang them on some of these if you've got more wall space than I have. Um, you could, some people put them under their bed or under their mattress or put them under a rug. So you could put them under a rug once they're done, but sorry, before they're done. Um, as a way of keeping them flat. For the bigger ones that I've not yet done, I tend to roll them up. So quite often they're poured glue ones, which can be sort of unrolled and rolled back up and they're a bit more forgiving. Um, I tend to just like to roll them up. I put little clips just to stop them unraveling. Um, and that's how I store them. They're currently in my Calax desk on a cube and the longer ones just stick out a little bit. Um, you could store them upright like this in a box. Whatever suits you in that sense, but that's, that's a couple of ideas of how I store the canvases. 
Now for the diamonds, I have two different ways. So I do have these plant pots from Ikea. This one holds my special diamonds. So diamonds for any painting that's normally a partial. Um, I tend to keep them in what they came in. I just label them with what they are. And these stickers are available for a free download as well on my website. Um, but I put the same sticker on the painting and on the diamonds. So in fact, let me just scoot one of my little hanger things over. This is actually that painting. So it says Flower Girl, it's 30 by 30. I got it from Fan Cells and it's a special drill impartial. And that's exactly what this is. So it tells me it's Flower Girl. I name it whatever suits me. I want to know what it is. It's a 30 by 30, it's from Fan Cells and it's a special. That's how I store all of my diamonds I tend to have a sticker on um, and I have it on the canvas and I have it on the paintings and um, the store is partly so that I know where to find the link so that I can link it in my videos um, but sometimes it's, it's just nice to know what it is you're looking for so of course at the moment I only have three special diamond paintings that are still on the go and um, that are still in my to-do list. I've recently done about four, I think. I had a little couple of evenings where I was just doing special special diamonds um, for a change. So at the moment I only have three, and because I have so few of the special diamonds and they don't tend to be as bulky as the others, this plant pot works perfect for me. Um, and then I have another plant pot next to it with all the stuff. For other diamonds, it can be a little bit different. So I like to use these bags. Um, these are sort of mesh bags. I can't remember what it is that they actually call them. It might be mesh bags actually. Um, more often than not, I use them in an A5 for paintings. It depends. This one's holding a 40 by 30 painting but it is from Homfon and it's all in individual packets. So you tend to need this bigger size. Um, whereas I've also got one here that's from Fan Cells. That's also 30 by 40, but it fits in the smaller size. And that's just because they come in uh, individual bags, like a grip seal bag with all the diamonds in. So, for example, that's all one diamond. They don't come in the individual bags. Um, I like to keep them in this. You can keep them in the original, especially with the likes of fan cells, you can keep them in sort of the original packaging that they came in. But I like the fact that I can flip through these and look at them in that way. Um, and these bags will actually stand up that way slightly. They need to be on an angle so that I can sort of flip through them and find what I like. Um, in fact, if I get hold of, if I get hold of the diamonds in round or one of the ones in round, you'll see here, I've got a few. That is a sticker that I've pulled off um, the normal packaging and put back on that's why it's not sticking basically i went from storing them in these in these packets and changed my mind and wanted them all stored in this so we peeled the sticker off this and put it on this so it's not as sticky i could probably do with redoing them um a couple of them are too big you know the diamonds are too big so they're in these bigger bags but a lot of them go in these smaller ones and I can actually fit two rows in here. Uh, depends on the size of painting that you like to work on. But that's how I like to store them. So I do store the diamonds separate to the canvases. You can of course always keep them in what they came in. But sometimes by the time you've opened it up, you know, you've checked your inventory, you've had a look at your canvas, it ain't going to go back in the same way. It's pretty much like that with most things. They're just not going to go back the same way. 
So that's the way I like to store mine in diamonds in one place, canvases in another, and I use the label that I write out for each one. I write out two exactly the same. One goes on the canvas, one goes on the diamonds. I always then have my own reference um, as for what they are. And when I flip through my diamonds, I can be looking for either the store name or the name of the painting, whatever it is, um, to find what I want. So that's how I store them at the beginning. Now, of course, when I go to work on one, this is where your options are huge. Um, and I do have quite a few different examples here of types of storage. And I'll let you know my personal pluses and minuses on these storage as and when I get to them. Okay, so first one here, this is more of an example. It's not something I use, uh, not in diamond painting anyway is a, a Tupperware tub from the kitchen. So this is the smallest one I had. Um, you can buy them smaller, so you can buy them in multi-packs quite often. Um, the likes of Home Bargains, B&M, Dollar Shops will have smaller Tupperware containers. I know Harbour Freight do some as well, I think, but that's not something that's available to me. Um, so Tupperware tubs can be a quick to get hold of, um, sometimes cheaper, sometimes not way. You can get maybe little takeaway plastic sauce pots, things like that. Though of course when you start stacking up, if you think if you had a painting with 40 colours, can get a little bit more bulky. So that's probably what I'd say is a minus to that, is the bulk of those sorts of containers. Even the little sauce pots, you know, they're not easy to stack, they're individual. Another one you can use is quite simply grip seal bags. These are ones that I got free with a kit. Some kits, the diamonds come in these, so you can just do it straight out of that. Um, not as easy for tipping things in and out. Not as easy to flip through um, and find what numbers you want, but extremely cheap. Uh, many kits, some kits do come with some. At the moment tend to come with about 50, so they're always a good start. Um, I picked up a thousand for storing my spare diamonds, which you'll see in a bit, um, and they cost under three pounds for a thousand of them. So grip seal bags is definitely your cheapest option. If you either don't have the money to invest into some storage, or you don't want to, or you don't know if the craft is gonna be for you and you wanna give it a go, um, grip seal bags can be a nice, cheap way to sort of be able to divide them up to start with. Not as easy to deal with, because of the, the flipping through, but definitely manageable to, to see how much you like the craft or until you can invest in something more. So we've got grip seal bags. Then we have things like this case. Now I picked this up off Amazon. It's down as bead storage and it was like 10.99 and it has loads and loads of little boxes for you to put diamonds in. However, if anybody has seen my cutting up video where I did want to use this box, um, they do have a gap. They are not, they do not sit as flush as they should. Now, it, it, it's shown a sort of bead storage, but of course sometimes beads are bigger, so they wouldn't fall out of that. I used to use these with my scrapbooking supplies with small embellishments, but they were not as small as diamonds. So, not ideal, but if you've got one in your, you know, stash, I've actually got the other couple of boxes that came here. You do get a big one, which is good if you have a diamond painting that has a larger quality of one number. The big box lies flat and would work well. I just can't work, use the rest 
because of that gap. I just, I filled one up and as soon as I put it in, diamonds fell down. So if you haven't yet spent money on one of these for any other reason and have it lying around spare, I don't recommend this, which is disappointing because that is nice and compact and has a nice quantity of boxes and it would have been really nice to use. I'm kind of disappointed that that one doesn't work. Okay, then we have a high, not, not necessarily higher end, I don't want to say higher end, it, it's more expensive, it's definitely a more expensive type of storage, it is loved by many, um, I have used it myself, it's not my favourite, but I have used it myself, um, and these are the Elizabeth Ward storage containers, so they come with a tray, you can get boxes that are just full of the small ones, um, and you can buy the boxes individually if you wanted to be able to mix up. I got the one with a variety. This is awesome for a painting, um, for a, a big er uh, diamond painting. I'm not thinking your 30 by 40s now, I'm thinking your 50 by 60s. It's fantastic for those, especially when you have different quantities of diamonds. So you may have a lot of a one colour, but only one small packet of another colour. Um, they're fantastic for that, absolutely awesome for that. You can kit up a project without having any leftovers and spares. You can kit it all up, have all your diamonds in one place, in one tray, and you can move these about. So a couple that you will find in my kitting up playlist or my preparation playlist, you will find that I do have a couple of preparation videos using this storage. Um, you should be able to tell by the thumbnail which ones they are. But it's great because you can move these boxes over. So you, they're individual, you can put them in whatever order you want. So maybe you kit them up by quantity but then maybe you actually want to have them laid out by the symbols, A, B, C, D. Maybe you want to have them laid out by DMC number. You can shuffle them about. Um, what's also good about these is that, especially the likes of the small ones, if you've missed that diamond, you know when you do a section and you miss one? Happens to all of us, all of the time. But when you miss one, you can just lift the lid and pop your pen in. And especially on, on these ones, because it's quite shallow, there's not a lot of diamonds in the way, and you can use the base of the diamond to be able to push it onto your pen to pick it up. It's a little bit harder in the bigger ones, but in the small ones, that's really handy. Um, the Elizabeth Ward version of this, which is what this one is, some of these little clip things can be a bit stiff. Um, they do get better over time, but I know when pre-lockdown, is that a thing now? Pre-lockdown, pre-COVID, um, when I was able to get my nails done with shellac, I did chip quite a few nails trying to get these open. Um, and I didn't have acrylic nails. With acrylic nails, I could potentially see that being a problem. So pluses, you can often, depending on the size of your painting, get all your diamonds in one place. They stack really, really nice. Um, if you have the, the space to be able to stack them up, they are pretty. They are, when they are filled up, it is like, it's just gorgeous to look at. It is gorgeous to look at very big plus um they're quite expensive there are cheaper versions so i know who i can on aliexpress does their own version that is cheaper um minus yeah is is the price and the difficulty sometimes to get in some of the boxes um plus it takes up quite a bit of you know flat space table space um 
but again that depends on where you work and your personal circumstances whether you need things really compact or whether you need things really big but this is definitely a storage that i will use again just might not be my first go-to does that make sense yeah we'll try and judge you on whether it's my first go-to or not okay next type of storage that you may have seen this comes in various forms in fact i have another form of it where's the other form of it i'm sure i do and i don't know where i put it i put stuff down found it okay found it so this comes in various forms but these are tic tac boxes so you could eat a lot of tic tacs or you can buy them empty um they have the little spout for tipping them out um you can remove the lids for filling them up they are small and compact and you can get them in cases so that they all line up i haven't personally used these for a painting yet i may i'm a little bit reluctant to try them but really i should to be able to give a true view um some people have said getting diamonds back in from your tray when you finish working on it is not easy I can imagine that being the case especially if you don't have you know a, a spout let me try my big tray so for example if I've got a big white tray you know getting them to go back in depending on how full it is already could potentially be tricky oh it's flying about they don't hold loads and some people have had these sort of little flaps have had those wear out um, but pretty reasonable prices in regards to these cases that you can get them in you can fit more of these than the round bottles which we'll come to in a minute you can fit more of them into a case so they're definitely more compact but you can't get as many diamonds in them uh, they come in all sorts of forms so you say you can get them in these pretty cases that's more of a new thing that's come out but you can pretty much always get them in in these sort of plastic cases this one I was actually sent by mistake I'd ordered something else and I was sent this and I've kept it for the purposes of showing you the seller didn't want it back so um, yeah a lot of them sell them in this but I don't even know I haven't even got enough dividers to be able to sort of set them up properly I don't know how they'd expect me to set them up because I didn't order it I didn't see a picture with what it's supposed to look like let me see if I can get one in okay so that's a divider in you can't actually fit two side by side on there so I'm guessing you'd have to stack them that way eh. yeah I don't quite know how you'd make that work this style is a lot better because they each have their individual home yeah they each have their individual place to go um, Plus, I'm a fan of these cases. Not these boxes, but these cases. I'm a fan. Um, so, yeah, there are Tic Tac style boxes. Many people do like them. That is definitely something that is more of a personal preference. To me, they don't quite fit enough. I can't quite dip my pen in, especially if I'm using, you know, one of my acrylic pens. I wouldn't be able to dip that in to fish out a diamond it would get stuck so not as big of a fan myself if you've not yet invested in these I'd maybe wait up for what's coming um, one of my first loves 
and I still use these for small paintings. They're not my favourite anymore, but I do like them. I think I originally got a pack of four, so four of these that hold 28, and I think I managed to pick it up on Amazon for like a fiver. Dirt cheap. But in these, each individual strip holds four, and they are connected, and they do have a little lift up lid. Some people have had problems with the lids lifting up, but all I've done in that case is just bent that piece of plastic back and they shut fine. Um, holds quite a nice amount of diamonds, these. Not loads, but for a small painting, plenty. Um, you can move them about if you want. Negatives, you do need to know what sort of order you want to label them up by because while you can move these about you can't move the individual ones about so this is my favorite for paintings that are about 30 by 40 or less um, it does depend on how many colors they have but this will take 28 colors so if i'm kitting up a few 30 by 40s to work on over a period of time then Kitting up in three or four of these boxes is very space saving. So if you are limited on space, this is probably the best storage with the least foot room or foot space. Um, grip seal bags will take up less room. But other than that, this is probably your best bet. Um, and as I say, I do still use these. Remembering what number you're up to. Um, if you're working on a diamond painting, you sort of can't separate which one you're working on. So basically it'll be one of, if you leave the room, you know, kids shout, whatever happens, washing machine needs changing whatever it may be, and you come back and you can't remember what symbol you're on, you do need to work it out from the four. <laughs> but it's not a biggie. Um, you can always write it down or something if you need to. So they are one of my favourites. Sorry, my battery was shouting at me to change it. Um, I have recently found on Amazon a box that is very similar but only holds 21 colours. I don't have one of these empty, which is why I'm showing it you with diamonds. Fingers wouldn't work. Um, I'll be de-kitting that later. But this has three instead of four. Yeah, um, pretty much otherwise, you can't interchange them because this does have um, little ridges so that they sit in and don't move. Whereas these will move up and down. It's a little bit of a better design. Um, but of course, you can put more in these than you can in these because the pots are bigger. Um, so I like to use both of these. If I have a painting that has less than 21 numbers or colours, I'll choose this one. If it has more than 21 colours, I'll choose this one. But I still use both of these. You can also get, if space is limited and you like these pots, you can get one that has two rows in one box. I have used these as well. Um, and that will have yeah, so you've basically got two rows, so you've got enough to do, what are we on, 40, 56, 56 different colours, which will cover most paintings, not all, I do have one in my stash that has a more than that, but it will cover most paintings. If you're very limited on space, this would be perfect for holding ones with higher colours, and then you can pop your spares, so your extras, into grip seal bags. And then when your number runs out in this, you just top it up. 
I do that quite often. Um, even in my favourite type of storage, which I'm about to go through, if I fill up, you know, a pot, I will quite often put the rest of the spares in a grip seal bag and then I hold them in, I use again the little bags that I hold diamonds in. So of course when I've taken the diamonds out, put them into my storage. Any spares I will put into grip seal bags and put in these bags and it'll, it'll just go with it. So this will be my diamonds for a painting or this will be my diamonds for a painting depending on storage wise in some instances if the numbers are really low so like this one you'll see that I've got a sticker on here and I've got no stickers here that's because when I started this painting 310 was in four pots because I didn't have many numbered many colors in the painting I knew I'd have spare pots so I just put in the 310 and kept going and then I started on the next colour so you'll see here 3371 was actually in two pots it was about a pot and a half and then I had the next two and that's the order so every single diamond for the painting fit in this though some of them went into two three or even four pots normally it's only two this one had a lot of black. Um, so yeah, these are well used. In fact, currently in my videos to do, I have three. So I have this one and I have two of these to de-kit. So you can tell I use them. I'm not telling Parkers. Okay, but then my favorite type of storage so this is my preferred if space wasn't an issue is the ones with the bottles focus camera come on there we go is the bottle storage I love these I do um, they come in a variety of sizes there are some that have double layers there are ones with bigger bottles, there's ones with bottles half the size. So I've seen cases like this, this is a 60 case. I have seen a case that has bottles half the size and has two layers. And you actually have to take one off to see the one underneath. So of course you get double the diamonds. I prefer these bigger bottles, I will admit. I do have a couple of cases where they stack and you have to take out that layer of diamonds to get to the one underneath I'm not that keen on those I'm swaying off them they're great for space saving they're pretty but they're just not practical I don't want to mess that much I mean if you're in a situation where you have to compress items then yeah you deal with it you know when you take them out I'm just not as keen um, I don't have that much of a space saving issue to have a problem with it um, but they come in 60 this one's a 30 this one's a 15 this one's got my mini heaven and earth design so I've created my own stickers for this one but normally I will either write on a circle sticker and put it on or I will cut up the inventory sheet and make it into a sticker so I've got the, the symbol and the number depends on what the manufacturer gives me if they give me an inventory sheet I tend to use it they fit on these bottles fine there is also a smaller seven bottle case that I do have and is currently being used by Megan. I think she had a diamond painting that was about 34 or five colors. So rather than going into a 60 bottle case, she had this one with the small one. I can't quite remember. She's got far too many of my cases. Um, you can also get a 60 bottle case with 
even bigger bottles in it. So this is another one that Megan's pinched, I've not yet got to use. But these bottles are wider. So I'm not sure if you can tell. If I put that flat, that is quite a bit thicker. But it is, and it's slightly taller. I don't think it'll fit inside it, no it won't. Only because the neck of the bottle shrinks down. Um, but these are fatter bottles, so these will of course fit in more diamonds than these. But the cases are actually the same. The, I think, yeah, the cases are actually exactly the same size. It's either these holes that they put in the foam have been cut bigger or they've just squeezed them in tighter. Um, but they hold a lot more diamonds. But even so, I mean, she's kitted up a painting that has 50 colours and she's still got spares. And they, again, have gone in the bag, very similar to what they came out of, and they just sit in the back of the case. Um, for Megan, she likes to write the numbers. So she likes the symbol to be really, really clear. Um, so in this case, it's in a pink Sharpie. But then she likes the DMC number on there for when she hands it to mum to de-kit so that I can actually put it away. Um, yeah, 50 colours in her Tinkerbell. Um, so her inventory sheet is still intact because she doesn't like to cut that up. She likes her labels like this. Um, so you can get these in many different forms. Um, you can even get pretty cases. So this is one of the pretty ones that I have from Fan Cells. This one has 24 bottles. Um, I think I've, I've recently ordered, um, which will be coming up in an unboxing, I've recently ordered another one similar to this, but without the, the sort of printed pattern on the front, a little bit, a little bit plainer and more sophisticated. Um, but I find I am using these bottle ones all the time. This one is actually going to get a diamond painting in it soon. This is, of course, at least the second 60 bottle case. We've got a 42 bottle case as well that's in the middle. One I'm currently, in fact, we've got two. One I'm currently using, the other one Megan is currently using. Because while she has a Tinkerbell kitted up, she has a big one that's a long term project. So she has that 42 bottle case. In fact, that might be what she used the small one with. This 15 bottle case is going to be in permanent use with a heaven and earth design for a while. Um, but yeah, there are loads and loads of varieties of these bottle storage cases out there. You can get them on Amazon now quite quickly, quite speedily to you. Um, and I like the fact that, you know, you can still dip your pen in. Your pen will still fit. Even if it's acrylic, I can get my pen into the pot if I just need to pick up that one from the bottom. Um, I like the fact that I can take one out when I'm working on it. So if I have to go away and come back, my bottle tells me what symbol it was. And I find the price is very reasonable. So if you are looking to invest in some form of storage for your diamond painting, my personal recommendation to you is to go for the bottles. Unless you're limited by space or love the prettiness of the Elizabeth Ward, you know, unless you've got some form of limitation that makes you say, actually, that one's right for me. If you are still going, but which one do I get? Bowls. If you are wanting to not spend a lot of money getting lots of different types of bottle storage, which I completely understand, go for a 60 bottle case. The reason being is why you will find a lot of the time you only use 30 or less, depending on your paintings. 
I'm trying to have a look and see how many colours are in my 30 by 40 paintings. A lot of them are between 20 and 30. You will get paintings that are more. Um, not all the time, but occasionally you might get one that's 35. I mean, I've actually just got one that's 70. <sighs> yeah. So I've had a customer arrive that is 70 colours. But that is rare. Normally, um, I think the of the comparison canvases that I'm doing, the one I, that's had the most of has had 39. Another one had 36. So actually getting the 30 bottle case, you will find that you sometimes run out. If you actually prefer the idea of a, of a 30 case, potentially get that one and then maybe get yourself a second one. They do these zips in multiple colours. It's just default that my two empty ones are purple. Um, yeah, so they do them in multiple colours. You can get them in the red, you can get them in green, you can get them in orange, pink, you can get them in plain black. This one's a plain black one. Um, if you actually prefer the more compact case, the case that's pretty much half the size, then by all means, it's still got a handle. Get this one, but then maybe get a second one. Um, but if you don't want to be spending loads on storage, maybe it's just not something that interests you, you're not in love with storage like I am, and you only want to buy one that will potentially do you for every painting you do, then go for the 60. But I say, that is just my opinion on that front. Um, there is many bits of storage that people use and they all have preferences for different reasons. I just wanted to give you a bit of an overview, a bit of a starting point on what there is out there. Um, especially for those people that maybe aren't as interested you know, you can get these 60 bottle cases now with butterflies on the front and all sorts. Pretty, pretty. Um, but yeah, some people are storage freaks like me and I get stuff to try new stuff and then I'm like, oh, actually I don't like it. So, give you my pros and cons. And then lastly, I'm only going to touch on this briefly because I do have multiple videos on this storage system and this is well used by many many people um, check out the website 4kids at 147.com under diamond painting videos I have a section just on my spare diamond storage um, but this is what I use this is where I de-kit all my diamond paintings and put all my spare diamonds um, in case they're needed for future projects and I do actually use them on projects as well. I'm actually doing a cross stitch pattern in a diamond painting that uses spare diamonds. So you can see I've got all my pretty DMC numbers. These labels are a free download on my website as well or you can pay my daughter Megan to print them for you and send them in the post. She doesn't charge loads, but postage is often more than the stickers are. But hey, um, but yeah, that is how I store my spares. So go to my website if you want information on how I created this. Also on the website is the link to the stickers that make it pretty, because if it's pretty, it's much nicer to work with my view anyway um, and yeah if you want to keep your spare diamonds in case you need them in the future this way is ideal it can grow with you I started with one box I don't have just one box anymore but I have been diamond painting for two and a half years um, but I while I will make space for pretty storage cases that I can kit up my diamonds with I don't like to give spare diamonds too much room in my craft room. 
because my craft room is tiny and I need to fit diamond paintings in it. So yeah, that is my spare, well, my storage video for you. I hope it's been helpful. If you do have any questions, please ask them below. Um, there are, I say, there are many, many different types of storage. This is the only one I say don't buy. Don't waste your money on this. Um, Tic Tac boxes, personal preference. I wouldn't say waste your money on that either. But, you know, there are many different types to choose from. Hopefully this video has helped you to find what storage system you think will work for you because everybody is different. Everybody works in a different way. Um, everybody has a different amount of money to spend. You don't have to spend money on storage. You can use tubs from the kitchen. You can use grip seal bags or sandwich bags. You can pick up small bags like that from craft shops for a pound, if not less, that would give you enough for projects going forward. You don't have to spend the money, but when we enjoy a craft, sometimes we like to spend the money. Um, and if so, I've given you a few options on what to spend that money on. But thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.